Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning line on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the polymorphism in C++. The word polymorphism means having many forms. Typically, polymorphism occurs when there is a hierarchy of classes and they are related by inheritance. So C++ polymorphism means that a call to a member function will cause a different function to be executed depending on the type of object that invokes the function. So if it is confusing don't worry you know when we see the example it's going to be clear. So here for the demonstration purpose I have the code from the previous tutorial where we have a base class called person and we have a method called introduce and in that method we we're just gonna say hey from person and this method is having the public scope and also we have another class called student and uh, which is inheriting from this class person and we have overridden that method in this derived class student and also we have a function which is gonna take a parameter of type person you know the base class here in this example and it's just gonna call the introduce method so here just for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create another class so it's gonna be class and let's call it as former and a former is also a person so it's gonna inherit from this base class person so it's gonna be public inheritance and it's gonna be a person all right now here also we're gonna override the introduce method so i'm going to copy the code from this student class and and paste it in the former class and i'm going to change this one to hey from farmer all right now you know when we create an object in our main by using this class former or the class student let's say former and let's say anil and then we're going to have an object of this class student so it's going to be student and uh, let's say alex all right now we have two objects you know one is of class former and another one is from the class student so if we call this who's this function and pass this objects to it let's say who's this and uh, anil and if i save this and build run this program okay we have an error okay that's because you know it's capital person p so i'm just gonna correct that and i'm gonna build and run this again now you guys can see it says hey from person that's because you know in this function we are referring to that object passed using a type of the base class that's why the method in the base class is called so this introduce method from the base class is called and that's why we get hey from person and similarly if we pass this alex here you know we'll get the same result or you know you know the method from the base class will be called that's not what we want what we want is when we pass anil or the object of this class former to this method who's this it should produce or it should call the introduce method from this class former and when we pass the object from this class student you know it should call the method from this class student so now in order to make this function to work in different forms we can use the virtual functions so virtual functions are nothing but the functions in a base class that is declared using the keyword virtual defining in a base class a virtual function with another version in a derived class signals to the compiler that we don't want static linkage for this function or you know when we pass an object of the derived class i don't want you to call the method in the base class if that method is overridden in the derived class so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the virtual functions so here in this base class we're gonna make this introduce method as a virtual method to do that we need to use the keyword virtual so it's gonna be virtual void introduce now you know when we run this program and uh, when we pass this object of this class former to this who's this method which is taking the parameter of type person you know at that time when you call when it calls this introduce method the compiler will come to know that okay i have a virtual method here that's why if this derived class 
or the object which belongs to a class has overridden the method introduced then I should call that overridden method that's why here this statement is gonna call the introduce method from this former so just to demonstrate that I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this program and now we get hey from former so now you know this function works in different forms when we pass an object of type former it's gonna call the function from the former when we pass an object of type student it's gonna call the method from this class student so just to demonstrate that I'm gonna call it again so it's gonna be who's this and again it's gonna be Alex an object from the class student now if I build and run this program it says hey from former hey from student so now let's say if this former class has not overridden this introduce method at that time you know this host this function is gonna call the base class method just to demonstrate that I'm gonna remove the method here from the former class I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this program and this time you'll get hey from person and hey from student that's because you know this former class has not overridden any method from the base class and since this introduce method is not present in the derived class the method in the base class is called and that's why we get hey from person and then you know the student class has overridden the base class method and that's why it calls the method in the derived class a polymorphism means that many forms and it occurs when there is a hierarchy of classes and they are related by the inheritance so in C++ polymorphism means that a call to a member function will cause a different function to be executed depending on the type of object that invokes the function here you know depending on the object passed to this host this function you know it's gonna call the different different method so this who's this function is a perfect example for polymorphism in C++ so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, like my Facebook page and stay updated with the latest tutorials that I'm gonna make and I'll see you in the next tutorial